What's going on guys, it's Crowlando here. Welcome to another one of my Clash Royal videos. As you can see, I'm on Arena 5. So, I was on Arena 4, but now I'm on Re Arena 5. <laughs> so, I've tested this quite a few times, so it does actually work. But I've gone to Arena 5, then dropped a load of uh, trophies, and gone back to Arena 4 just to see if the deck would work. But this is literally the perfect deck for Wait for it, get into Arena 5. <laughs> right, let's just go ahead and open this free chest. Yeah, gold. Minion Horde, that's what I want. Goblin Heart, oh, I'm not bothered. Oh, I've also got chest down here to open, nearly on a thousand gold again. Four archers, nearly at 200. Ooh, Musketeer, that's a good one. What's this? Ah, uh, New Balance Live. Yeah, I've already read that. Anyway, let's go and uh, open that golden chest. So right, as you can see, I'm on 1,424. I did get up to like 1,490, I think it was. But obviously, I just kept dropping and then going over, dropping, going over. So yeah, as you can see by my uh, thumbnail on this video, it's got what I was at, at Arena 4 and what I'm at, at Arena 5. So yeah, let's go ahead and look at the deck. So here it is, just move my face a bit, there we go, okay so as you can see there's some low level um, cards, some high level cards, so it's a bit of a mixed bunch, but we'll go um, from the top left, so we've got skeletons, level 7 at the moment but I'm trying to upgrade them to level 8, I just need 2000 gold, don't think, yeah and it's 68 gems. <laughs> As you can see, I'm also nearly level 8. I'm so close to level 8. Only like 29 more uh, experience points. So anyway, yeah, I've got the skeletons. They're good for like, so if you've got like someone like a giant coming in, so they're good to drop down because four of them um, just like surround the giant. But what I found, they're also good as a distraction. So say someone's coming close to your building, like, uh, what should we say? Well, they're good against hogs as well. Say something like a musketeer. If you place them just in front of the musketeer when they get to the building, then the arrows from the building can take out the musketeer while they're struggling to take out all four of the skeletons. So skeletons, you may not think it's a good card. It's actually a good card, like a good all-rounder. It's good as distraction. It's good at attacking a big unit like a pecker or something. And it's uh, good in general. Okay, let's move, uh, move on to the next card. That is Arrows, the most popular card. It's only free elixir, so it's good. And it's good against if, say for example, the enemy used Minion Horde, or if they had huts and used a mass amount of goblins. Uh, it's just good against anything, really. Well, mostly weak, um, I forgot what I was gonna say that. <laughs> mostly weak cards like goblins or minions or skeletons. So yeah, that's a good card to have, just as like an offensive or um, if you want to attack. Right, so next card is Spear Goblins. That's also only two elixir. So you can, the first three cards that I've got, you can tell that they're low elixir level. So I'm not gonna have any trouble in uh, getting these cards up on my deck. Right, so yeah, the Spear Goblin is a great card to have just to get some early, um, points taken off a tower so say you had it right at the beginning you could just place that card they'll run in and usually pretty much 99% of the time the enemy won't deploy anything so you literally have all three of those skeletons they'll run to the building and they'll just spear it usually if the building's on like 2200 health you can usually get it down to 1900 1800 by the time they've died so that's a good uh, bit taken off there Right, moving on. Valkyrie, obviously a good card to have. It's only four elixir. Good against, again, it's kind of like the arrows. It's good against um, <coughs> goblins or skeletons. It's also good against... <coughs> God, bit of a block throat then. Yeah, it's also good against anything like mu uh, musketeer or the knight. Or, or it's good against the witch. I found it's really good against the witch. Because if you wait for the witch to get near your side of the map, you can deploy it just as she's releasing the skeletons and take a ball out. I've also just unlocked the zap. Let's go ahead and upgrade that. It's only cost five. Howard level two. 
There we are. Yeah, it's good. It's also good against the wizard. The Valkyrie is pretty much good against everything, including barbarians. It can do some serious damage. And I've got mine at level five at the moment. A good uh, card to use is obviously the free spell with Valkyrie because then if you've got barbarians, you can freeze and then drop the Valkyrie and it'll pretty much wipe them all out. So yeah, I've got my free spell to level two. So gutted that it's been <laughs> it's been deducted by one second. So now the duration of a free spell is 4.3 seconds for me but when I had it at level 1 it was four, it was 5 seconds and they've dropped it to 4 seconds so luckily I up upgraded it just before the update so I'm only losing 0.7 seconds but that's still pretty bad but it's still a good card to have even with 4.3 seconds I can still win right so moving on we've got the minion horde that's obviously the highest level card in this deck is also a good card to have with free spell. You send the minion horde out, they get near the castle, you freeze everything else, they pretty much wipe the base out straight away. We've got the hog rider, which is obviously everyone's favorite. It's only four elixir, that and the free spell. Or you don't even have to use the free spell with that. You can use the hog rider to finish a building off or do some damage for when you're gonna use, <coughs> use the free spell. The musketeer. That I found that is a great combo with Hog Rider and Free Spell because you can send a Hog Rider in, they'll start damaging the building, they'll get the like well they'll drop a load of troops to wipe out the Hog Rider. You deploy the Musketeer on the other side of the map, on like going towards the other tower, and use a Free Spell. The Musketeer can just shoot the building, and it pretty much takes at least 50% off the building. So yeah, there you have it. There's my deck. Right, I was worried that because of the update that the free spell would be like reduced, it wasn't going to get to Arena 5, so I tested it again, and it does get to Arena 5. You can get to Arena 4 to 5 with this free spell, because it's, this deck isn't all about the free spell. There is other combos to use, so there you have it. <laughs> I'm at the top of my friends list. I am, I'm at the top of my friends list. Get on. Right, let's just go ahead and have a battle in Arena 5. No, me, because this is being recorded, I'll probably end up losing now. Let's move that out of the way. Okay, so let's go ahead and deploy early spear goblins. They've got the dragon on the go. Going to deploy the musketeer. See, we've got, we've got that building down to 1,954. Easily take out that dragon. Skeletons will di distract that musketeer so the archer tower can take it out. Arrows on that minion horde. Okay, let's deploy the hog rider. Okay, managed to freeze most of those skeletons. So he's done some serious damage. We're gonna use the Valkyrie to take all their skeletons out. And obviously they've got the Prince there. Oh, that was such a waste of arrows by them then. Right, let's go ahead and deploy Spear Goblins again and we can actually get some more damage off this building before they've deployed anything. There we go, nearly down to a thousand. Let's get the Musketeer down to defend against that dragon. We're going to go ahead and get Hog Rider on the other side to reduce that uh, building. Okay, so we've nearly got both sides right down. Arrows to kill those skeletons. Sorry I'm not talking as much, I'm just trying to concentrate. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and deploy Spear Goblins again to reduce that other side. What I'm trying to do is get both sides right down to below a thousand. There we go. Musketeer. Okay, that didn't really work. Oh, we're in trouble. Oh, no. Okay, that didn't go as I planned. That's what happens sometimes. They get a lucky break. OK, 
Okay. Okay, got rid of that side. They're not going to do much damage with those. Uh... Oh man, I thought I would have taken it out. Yeah, I can imagine I'm going to lose this now. No! Oh, so close! Oh, they're doing that laughing thing as usual because they think they're the best player ever. I'll just write good luck. <laughs> Let's just do that. <laughs> okay, so that didn't go as I planned. I'm definitely trying that again. That was just such a joke. They always do that stupid, oh, let's do Prince of Minions. Oh, I'm the best player ever. Yeah, right. Get a job. <laughs> okay, we're just going full frontal attack. Okay, we're gonna get some serious damage out. See, the musketeers free spell. We're gonna get it way down. Try and um, lower this side down. I'm really trying to concentrate on this one now. Okay, we've got free spell. We can take this building out. Yes, this is going to be an easy takeout. One building down. See how easy that was? I'm going for a bit of a headquarters there. Okay, they've deployed a pecker, thinking they're cool. Oh man! Okay, we've really got to wipe this packer out. We're gonna lose our building. Oh, that was a lucky save. <laughs> Sorry, you can't really see my face. We've really got to do some damage to the other side, otherwise. I'm going to lose this. Okay, this building's pretty much going to be taken out. Okay, we've managed to take that out. Can this hog rider? Ah, oh, damn it. Some early damage on this. Uh, oh, here we go. They've gone for Rage Bell. Come on. Free spell, we're going to do it. Yes. Look at that for a win. Two stars, but we kicked their ass. See, the deck is easy. Back on one, four, two, one. Okay, so uh, this has been my latest Clash Royale video, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already. Also, I'm always on Twitter. Check that out, give it a follow. Check out my Facebook, give that a like, as I always say at the end of my videos. But most importantly, enjoy this video, give it a like, uh, give me subscribe if you want. I'll just be posting for the rest of my life. <laughs> but yeah, uh, I don't know what else to say. I can't make you subscribe, but if you're a bro or you like my content, just take a moment out of your time, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.